Let's just go shake it out. Right now we're conducting a shakedown of this inmate's cell. He's not allowed to use the phone. And contact is still being made on the phone system by this inmate. I'm just trying to find out how the phone got its cell 101. So at this time, imagine he's picking up the tray from cell 102, and he turns around, and the uh, inmate from 102 throws out her laundry bag. If it's just laundry, it's going to just fall in land, you know? They like bouncing watch. The phone's in there, wrapped up. Imagine comes, picks it up, goes back. Look at that. We can see plainly Imagine Bill Hawkins on the phone. This is exactly what happened, Kay. We're picking up trays. 102 tells me, I've had this laundry bag for two days, and I don't know whose it is. And I grab the laundry bag, I look at it, and it says Charlie 101 on the laundry bag in Sharpie. I said, Hawkins, what's up with your laundry bag, dude? He goes, I haven't had it in two days. And that's when I gave him the laundry bag. But there was no phone in it, I promise. This just shows right now that you just Whatever you get and you're giving to another inmate, just look through it and see what's in there. Because they could easily hide drugs in there, weapons, anything, and pass them over to their neighbors. These guys know how to play con games, and they know how to get stuff, you know? This can happen to any of us. It, it, it does. It's happened to me before, OK? That's why they're called con men. Everyone here is an opportunist. What happened in this situation is the inmates Saw the opportunity to do it because they see a new guy, he's busy, he has to learn how to multitask. They see him struggling, and boom, it's done. 